Welcome back, everyone. Uh, I just wanted to let you know that um, I must apologize for the last episode. Um, I was completely out of line with the things that I said about the Church of Scientology. Um, I did actually go inside and pay them a visit. And I think we're all very, very wrong about some of the ideas that we have about the church. And I'd love to take this opportunity to inform you guys and invite you over to, so I can meet you in person and we can go together and we can see uh, how a lot of these misconceptions are just so, so not true. And, uh, and uh, Derek, I'd like for you to you know join us and be a part of the team. Um, are you, how do you feel about that? Would you like to, would you like to come and join me on this journey? I, I mean, with the person in the room, I guess I have to say yes. Yes, because I'm between you and the door. No, I mean the other guy that's sitting on the, on the couch. Don't look at him. Don't yeah. worry about him. Yeah. He's so here. I'm just supposed to ignore? He's this? not here. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about him. He's my friend. You got a handler now? A handler? Yeah. I'm not a dog, Derek. Well. This is my very close personal friend. Okay. Well, I, that is just here to make sure How have that, I never met him if he's your close friend? Because I met him recently. And he's just here to ensure that nothing uh, negative or untrue, no more lies will be said about the glorious Church of Scientology. It, okay. So we're just going to do the podcast with him sitting there? Absolutely. All right. And this will no longer be known as the den of debauchery. Oh. This will be now known as the the Scientology Super Awesome Segment Podcast. Do, 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 you, think, do you think our sponsors are going to be okay with that? Look, man. Yeah, no, that sounds great, man. Um, yeah, that's um, okay. Yeah. So anyway, uh, we. Uh, okay. And let's hit that intro, ladies and gentlemen. You'll notice all uh, all mentions of the former title will be gone. We haven't developed a new intro yet, but uh, it will be something along the lines of. Welcome to the Super D Awesome Scientology Segment Podcast. We're not crazy. Everything's fine. Nobody ever wants to get out. Anybody who says bad things is lying. Da 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 da. Uh, a lot of people don't know this, but. Uh, that song was originally written by L. Ron Hubbard. I know your your brother but, stole it, but uh, that's actually an L. Ron Hubbard original. Man, that guy just did mul multiple. He's the great, greatest. He's great the greatest things. human being that's ever lived. Yeah. Can, let's. let's oh, move what's, on. Oh, what? what's that? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You can you can head on out. Oh, looks like my friend is. Uh, Heading on out, he's he's done his job, ensured that we stay on track, and uh, yeah, 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 we'll see you later, bud. Nah. All right, you have a, have a good one. Jesus Christ, what the fuck? Okay, yeah, that was real terrifying. Fun. All fun and games until you actually go into the fucking Scientology thing, Jesus right? Jesus Christ, man. Jesus fuck? Christ, those people are fucking nuts. Those people are absolutely insane. I, do I've never been... Hey. No, no, no. You know, we're not, we're just, uh, we're just preaching the good word, man. You know me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll be, I'll be over at the meeting. All right, all right. We'll see. All right, okay. okay. Well, so. And I have shit and pissed myself. Mm. Well, welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the fucking. So. The den of debauchery. It can, is still the den of debauchery. Can, can you sneak in the, the real intro now? Uh, the real intro? No. no. Oh. No, absolutely not. Okay. That dude's gonna fucking come back. Alright. We already did, we already did an intro. We're not doing two intros, alright? Right. 
Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, well, that was a fun time. All right. And it is good to be back hosting the podcast. Derek Stock is back. I fucked with you the last episode, but you are back, and I'm glad. It was it was you. it was a lot of fun to be called the wrong name the entire podcast. <laughs> I missed you. I sang I sang about how much I missed you. Did you hear that one? Yeah, I heard them all. Where are you? <laughs> but it's good to be back. Um, we are recording this on a Sunday morning. Uh, I am sitting in my underwear. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I didn't know if we were going to bring that to everyone's attention. Oh, yeah. I'm just... Dude, I'm, that's the great thing about working from home, is that I get to dress how I feel. Yeah. And yeah. since we're recording this first thing in the mo- morning, I do have a morning boner, mm-hmm. and you just kind of have to deal with it. Well, I mean, I'm looking at it. I'm, I'm trying to intimidate it, but it won't go down. <laughs> so I'm staring at it. What are you going to do? We going to do, motherfucker? And then it, it winked at you, and yeah. you backed out. Yeah, you backed no. out. <laughs> I, I lost the match. You got, you got alpha dogged <laughs> by such a small wiener, too. That's the thing. Size doesn't matter. It's ferocity, mm-hmm. ladies and gentlemen. It's the fight <laughs> in the dog. It's not the size of the penis in the fight. It's the size of the fight in the penis. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> oh, wow. You can hear a train in the background. Again, I can never escape it. No. I can no never escape. I can never escape trains in the background of the podcast. I didn't know Columbus had trains. We should just... Oh, man. So, uh, last night, uh, right before we recorded the the other episode, we were uh, at the bar eating at uh, good old Smoky Bones, and there is a waitress there that is, like, clearly gay, and... Why? Just, why? Why? Why, yeah? Because uh, she, she said it out loud. That's why I'm saying it. I'm oh, not I saying did, it based I on did. appearance. I don't think I'll... I'll Lesbians could be judged on sight, but this one totally could. Um, she's just uh, rocking like the the short haircut, slick back on the sides, and just had that energy. She had big dick energy. Yeah, as for in, a woman. That woman fucks. She slams pussy, and you can just you could tell. She's got she's gotten she's converted all those people that are like. No, I'm not. Oh, I'm she's not. gotten a lot of people that didn't think they were into chicks. Yeah. She's gotten a lot of people. I I bet she, she fucks in finger blasts and eats so much pussy. I bet she's had jaw and or finger surgery to recover, like a base, like a pitcher that's to get Tommy John surgery on her shoulder. She's had that done on her fingers like multiple times because she's just running through it. Away. Yeah, uh, actually, uh, a side note on that. I watched the Dr. Drew podcast, yeah, and uh, he let his kids watch uh, South Park <laughs> at like finger six. Finger bang. Yeah. yeah, that's right. Yeah, so she was singing finger bang, and she finger changed. Bang. She finger changed banger, her finger sp- banger, finger banger. Yeah, and like on her um, social media, his daughter changed her like social media All stuff her names to, fin- to finger bang. Yeah, so he. <laughs> He goes, well, do you want to know what that is? And he told her, and she screamed, and his and his boys laughed. Like it was a. She's like, I had changed all my names. He's like, I pulled over the car, turned back around, and we had to go and change all of her names right then. Yeah. <laughs> so, but that was just a side note. But yes, she was she was great. Uh, she was a good bartender. She ran like everything. She was yeah. a waitress. She, she was, was crushing great. it, and she just like uh, she was like super casual and comfortable, and chatting like she could tell she had been doing it forever. And she just, and I just, I watched her like walk around and I was like, I guarantee she has fucked at least two of the workers here that didn't think they were gay at all. Yeah. I guarantee there's at least two. The other. Cause she just walks around like, like that. I just had sex energy all the time. And she's just like, yeah, what do you need? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I go get that. No problem. Yeah. What do you want? Oh, uh-huh. this shit. This shit's my personal favorite. I think you should get that. She's also. You've never had this? Oh, yeah. You should try that out, too. She's also one of those uh, waitresses like, hey, the, no, no, I'm not going to write it down. I'm going to remember all this. Go yeah, ahead. Yeah. And I'm just, I want to see if she just like disappear for like a while and then come back from like taking a break and then just like smelling her fingers. And like. You mean. And then, and then another girl comes back like. Slightly sore walking. It's just like Jesus. She, Jesus, she did it on break. Yeah, she elbows someone. Like, she fucking see what I did. 
Yeah. See that? She, yeah. I, it felt like at any moment she was going to lean over the counter and be like, I fucked these three bartenders that work in this section. I'd be like, God damn, really? The one bartender had goes, yeah, Harry Potter glasses. Yeah. I was proud of two that. Of the, two of them had boyfriends at the time. They still don't know about that shit. <laughs> it's like, God damn. Mm-hmm. Big strap on energy. <laughs> <laughs> she has big strap on energy. <laughs> yeah. Big finger energy. <laughs> Okay, so we wanted to do another one of the uh, one of my personal segments that we've done before, uh, uncomfortable jokes, where we read an awful news story to the other, and the that person is forced to think of a joke on the spot. All right, I'm gonna throw mine at you first. Yeah, and here we go. Police in St. Louis County, Missouri, had several reasons to be suspicious of Bo Rothwell after his 28-year-old wife went missing in November. Chief among them that he refused to give a DNA sample or let cops search his car, home, or cell phone, reports the St. Louis Dispatch. Another disturbing detail, per search warrant cited by the newspaper, Jennifer Rothwell was six weeks pregnant and had carried out a search on her cell phone for what to do if your husband upset is upset you are pregnant. Rothwell, also 28, reported his wife missing on November 12th. On November 13th, police searched his home, finding overwhelming smell of bleach, splatters of, splatters of blood. Uh, someone tried to clean up with detergent that turned out to be Jennifer's blood. And windows opened the home and the garage with a fan blowing despite the cold temperatures. Police say surveillance footage shows Bo Rothwell buying paper towels and rubber gloves at a store on November 11th. Cops say they found these items in a trash can outside the home on November 13th, as well as a store receipt. <laughs> this purchase was oddly at a, at a time during a major snow event involving dangerous driving conditions and was also contradictory to Bo Rothwell's statement that he was home with his wife all night on November 11th. The warrants say... I think I got enough. Yeah. Because that's pretty easy. Hold on. Said, uh, told him where to find the wife's body, which they discovered on November 18th. Final cause of death still not in, though an autopsy shows Jennifer Rothwell suffered blunt force injuries to the head. Okay. So right off the bat, my, my first thought is problem solved. <laughs> she was pregnant. She's no longer pregnant. And I mean, she's still pregnant. I mean, that baby's still in there. No, not anymore. Well, I mean... No, it's It's, it's, still it's in, in there, there, but... You know, yeah. you know, it reminds me of the Daniel Tosh, two birds, one... Yeah, you know. the driver's still in the car. It's just the car broke down. It'll never start again. All I'm saying is, is she, he had a problem with her being pregnant. Problem solved. You're saying he's a hero. I, 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 he's a fixer. He's a doer. You know? He doesn't just sit around idly while she's just fucking pregnant on the couch. You know what I mean? He does something about it. Yeah. And abortions are expensive. Exactly. I bet what he spent in those fucking, uh, you know, on those rubber gloves is a lot less than an abortion. So, you you think he's a hero? Yeah. Okay. Unsung hero. It is time for us all to accept the fact that you don't have to stand idly by while your wife or girlfriend is pregnant. I know you, that you, I know that you did that to her, but you don't have can, to accept it. We can together. We can change the stigma of murder. If you're, if it's okay to kill the fetus without the man's consent, it's okay to kill the vessel without the woman's consent. You shouldn't go to jail for that. We should all learn that the time is up of allowing people to decide who you can and can't murder. Murder is the best result. Make a statement in your area today and kill a pregnant woman. Any pregnant woman. No. All right. Thank you. You got a little dark at the end, I guess, but... <laughs> That's the point. <laughs> I will always, like... It's just... It's so funny because, like, for a split second, like, you can hear that in the background and not be paying attention to what they're saying and just be like, oh, somebody's giving a speech and be like, kill a pregnant woman. They're like, wait, what the fuck was that? Yeah, if these zoned, <laughs> he zoned out, you really brought them back at the end. And they're like, oh, this is oh, this is somebody pitching a commercial about their you know new product, and it's like, oh yeah, they want to show that like they're conscious and care about the environment. Wait, did you just say kill a pregnant woman? Okay, so all right, I mean this now, is this is older, but you know, okay, it's a still in the you hit so. me, I'm ready for it. 
Uh, friends noticed that Danielle Harkins, a 35-year-old school teacher near St. Petersburg, Florida. I've been there. So, yeah, Florida. You expect all this. Started mm-hmm. acting strangely in June 2020 or 12. I'm sorry. Uh, developing an interest in. Is this a story about demonic. time travel? Could be. Okay. Acting strange. 2012. She- yeah, because of uh, demonic rituals, her interest in demonic rituals. Ooh, okay. Soon after, she was arrested for abuse of seven of her former students. Abuse right. in what way? Okay. She told she told the kids that they needed to get rid of the uh, of their they need to rid their bodies of demons as the group gathered before dusk Saturday around a small fire. So they're around a fire, and she's like, "You guys got to get rid of your demons here." They should cut. This is a teacher. Yes, they should cut their skin to let the evil spirits out. Then they needed to burn the wounds to ensure those spirits would not return. She was holding up a lighter to a teen's hand when the wind blew it out. I mean, this is like, this is almost like a book. They prompted her to, to douse his hand in, in, then that prompted her to douse his hand in perfume before setting it on fire. Jesus. The boy suffered second degree burns. Uh, another. Teen, another teen was cut on the neck with a broken bottle, police said. Harkins used a flame to heat a small key, which she then carterized the wound with. Wow. Well, I think as we just showed earlier in this episode, I believe in full religious freedom. So anybody that tries to tell this woman that she's wrong uh, doesn't is a piece of shit. Really, because she's free to exercise her religious freedom. They also appreciate, well... How old were these kids? <coughs> Does it say? It says teens, but it never... I don't know if it says actual... Uh, <coughs> I do not get... Uh, <coughs> I don't get any... Any ages. Just teens is all I keep seeing. Wow. See, now when you said, like, a teacher abusing... I thought it was going to be a happy story about them fucking the kids... And uh, took a stark left turn there. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, I mean, like I said, you can't be mad at her. She's exercising her religious freedom. Well, if you are mad at her, you probably need to just get rid of evil spirits. So go ahead and cut yourself yeah. and then cauterize the yeah. wound. They won't come back in. Exactly. I'm yeah. pretty sure this is a Scientology ritual anyway. That's how they drain. The, they they literally drain evil spirits out of you. I so. probably will be. Corrected yeah. about that. You'll Maybe. probably have to make a, a a correction on the next podcast. I'm not scared of those motherfuckers. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You think I'm scared of these bitches? I'm not even scared. What was... Yes. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes. Yes, sir. I thought he left. I had also thought that he left. Um, Should you like take a break to make sure like you, you let him out or? Uh, yeah, we'll take a we'll take a short break here, ladies and gentlemen. Well, we are back, ladies and gentlemen. So let's go ahead and uh, do a safe topic. Um, Eric, you recently no, got a no. Accident. We're not doing it this <laughs> one. Oh, we're we're gonna, I'm, I might slide it in here and there. No. Against your will, Bill Cosby style. I'm just gonna slide it in against. No, your I'm will. awake. You gotta pick a different rapist. Um, Weinstein. Okay. We're going through the Hall of Fame rapists, like the greats. Oh well, yeah, we're mm-hmm. not gonna say some random Sm- Joe Schmell. You remember that comedian? Did you hear the story about that comedian that went on like, a rape spree and like they tracked it because his tour yes. dates were? I forget that dude's name, but uh, anyway, that's just nuts. That's nutty that you would like. That you figure you don't think they would figure you out eventually, like when it perfectly matches your. And you're semi well known. Well, but he's not, my thing was that he was just like they were all snitching. They're all snitching. Yeah. So you're you're blaming the people that he raped right now? No, my thing is is they always say you know how many rapes are not reported and his were like we're all reported <laughs> every single one. <laughs> every single one was reported. That's what yeah. he caught. Him. Which is so. Which is good. Keep, yeah. Keep tell keep that's telling the, if you've ever been. That's a good story to be like. Yeah. Keep telling. Yeah, tell, people will be found. Tell people that you got raped. Like, tell people that your boyfriend beat the shit out of you. So I, um, I know I know you want to talk about your accident real quick, but just before that, I recently met someone 
who is from a different country, moved here, and dated somebody I went to high school with. And I asked this person, hey, and they told me that they dated this person. I was like, oh, I must be remembering the wrong person because I thought that dude was gay. And uh, she goes, I mean, well, he has had a dick in his ass, but what? he's not no. gay. And I'm like, what? No. She goes, so I guess he's bi, maybe? And I'm like, no. Nope. Oh, okay. Well, no. Nope. And I was like, you yeah, dude, be is bi, gay. I guess. But I, I feel dude like bi gay. people don't Bi take people it in. aren't catching. Yeah. I'm sorry, but bi, bi people are not bottoms. Yeah, I can see that. Bi people are not bottoms. So any bi people listening, let us know. Are you a bottom if you are? Yeah, you know, by the way, we want to say that these are all rumors, and we never said anybody's name. Oh, I'm, yeah. It, no one's... But that's interesting, yeah, because bi, I'm like, okay, he's bi, but you're, you're, I think you're kind of right. Like, you're not catching if you are bi. Yeah, I, I mean, if there's anybody out there that is a bisexual man that puts it in women and then also lets guys put it in them, please, please write it and tell yeah, us. Yeah, reach like, out. What the, what the fuck? Do, reach around, if you will. Give them the old reach around. No, they're just committed to the train. Yeah, exactly. It's like elephant trunks. Just grabbing each other's tail and following the line. Anyway, uh, tell me about your accident, dude. (laughs) Yeah, um, for some reason, like, I was going from Finley to Cary, uh, and for some reason I was following, like, it was like a line of 15 cars. Like, I don't know Mm -hmm. why there was such a, so much traffic going into Cary, but uh, at one point it was like about five cars ahead of me. The guy decided, or not decided, but the guy needed to, uh, he needed to turn left, so he had to stop, com- come to a complete stop on the, on the road. So there's about, I'm like four cars deep from this, the guy turning. We're completely stopped, and I see the guy, like I look at my rearview mirror, and I see the guy coming, and I'm like, he's not fucking slowing down. So I take my foot off the brake. Like, I'm like, because sometimes you, you see it and, you, you know, you slam on the brakes. So I'm mm-hmm. like, all right, maybe. No, he's not even slamming on the brakes. Uh-uh. So I take my foot off the brake just a little bit. And, st- like, I'm I'm starting to go into the, the next lane. I'm like, I'm going to get out of here. If I could get out of here, I'm going to. I'm going to let him hit the fucking person in front of me. Nope. Uh, he hits me. And then I instantly, like, as soon, like, you know, when you get hit, you kind of just, like, brace. Yeah. So <clears throat> I slam on my brake. And now he's pushing me. He pushed me a little bit while my brakes were locked until I took my foot off the brake. And then I just went across the road, down into the ditch. Jesus, man. I, I did. I, I, I steered myself into that. You know, like I, I went off the road myself. Damn. Um, I, I would assume he hit me like 40 miles an hour, roughly. Like, damn, dude. It, it really did not. It's not that impressive uh, of what he did to me. Like no, I'm, my car. I'm pissed because I gave him so much money <laughs> to take your ass out, and he fucked it all up. My, you got to drive faster than four. I mean, sorry, continue. Right. He also should have T-boned me, not rear-ended me. Yeah, what a fucking idiot. So, uh... He's refusing to give me my money back, too. So I get... I, prick. My, my phone flew. I don't know where the hell it's at. So I get out of the car, and I, I walk around a little bit just because it kind of hurt. And then, uh... I'm I'm on the I'm on my hands and knees outside my car looking for my phone because I think it fell on my uh, fell on my floor but it turned out it was on my passenger side and then he comes over he checks on me okay it's perfectly normal he comes and checks and hey are you all right yes I'm all right and, you know I, I was just gonna say like phone. you just getting up and walking around he's gonna think that he fucked you up that's what, <laughs> well, yeah I know that's what that's what uh, Jordan said, but, um, I finally find my phone and he's like, I'm going to go check on my car. And, uh, uh, after he came over, he checked on his car, he came back and then he, then he starts doing a segment of should I hate, uh, goes right into it. He wants to have a he wants to have a conversation. He wants to shoot the shit while we're waiting for the cops. And I no, I don't want to fucking talk to you. You just hit me, dude. Go sit in your car, wait until the cops come out. 
then you can get out of your goddamn car. He's just over here just shooting the shit, trying to sing me a snap story, which maybe it really happened, but I don't give a fuck. What what was this story? Okay, well, well, I've got temps. I got to get new tags, and this happened on a Thursday. Uh, No, I'm sorry. This happened on a Tuesday. Uh, But uh, he's like, I lost my job and I got a new job and I don't get paid till this Friday and it's been three weeks and I got to get new tags because they're expired on Sunday and I just got my uh, wallet stolen from me so I don't have anything and I mean just piling it on, piling it on, yeah, yeah, and to the point where I'm like, this is, this is a a lie, and then when the cops got there, uh, his car, his car never started, but when the cop got there. Oh, I don't know how my car is. And then he goes over to start it up and his keys are quote air quotes locked in his he locked his keys in his car accidentally. Mhm. Mm-hmm. So, I think the guy had more had more going on than I mean, yeah. Just that wreck or whatever. Do you think he was texting or do you think he was like I I think he was on his under phone. Under the influence of some type of phone. No, I think drugs. He, no, I think he was on his phone just not paying attention to the road, not noticing that traffic was at a complete stop. Mhm. Yeah, I, I but to don't don't talk to me. I just want to sit in my car. And it's odd because he hit me, and I still want to be nice and like, yeah, uh huh. Oh man, that's that sucks. Yeah, yeah. Not a good no. week for you, huh? You know, I, like I, I hate that. I as much as I can, I'm trying to eliminate being fake nice without yeah. it being absolutely necessary. So I'm slowly but surely. Eliminating that shit. Yeah, but I don't like small talk to begin with. Mm-hmm. But after an accident, that it's your fault. Yeah, you smashed into me, and I was like, "We're not friends. We're not friends at all. We're not, I'm not going to pretend that we're friends. You, there's no reason for you to try and pretend that we're friends. I don't want to be involved with you. Just go away." Yeah, I also I hate that that fake nice customer service. That's that's an example for me. Yeah. No, but that's a I, something that I hate is <clears throat> people with obvious over the top customer service voices that are being nice. Oh, thank you so much. Yeah, you be sure to come back now. Uh, I recently did an interview and then talked to the, uh, the person after. And, like, in the interview, the person was, like, natural. But then I, like, saw the person, like, after, and they had, like, switched gears, and I could tell they're doing their fake customer service nice. And I was like, why are you doing this now? It's like, I already already work here. What is this? (laughs) But, yeah, I hate that just over-the-top obvious. Like, just, just be natural. Like, you can be nice without doing the fake service voice. You can be like, hey, oh, yeah. Yeah, no problem. I but can help you move out. No, it's not odd because people like that though. There's a like, there's some older lady that's like, oh, that lady was real sweet, and they don't realize it. It's They're so just fake. fake. It's yeah. so fake. It's because, so fake and obvious. Like, if you want to be fake, that's that's on you. But yeah. you can't make it so obvious. Well, have you ever seen like, have you ever seen the movie Waiting? Yeah. Where that crazy girl, she's like, motherfucker, hi, we, did you save some room for dessert? Like, Did you guys save some Where they just turn it on like that. Eye. That was me when I had to work in like, you know, uh, like when I worked fast food. Oh, yeah. I was just in the back like, god damn it, stupid fucking customer. Hey, how, what, what can I do for you? But Hey, how can we make your day great today? Yeah. Welcome to, welcome to Airbnb's. Yeah, it was. Welcome to Airbnb's. Uh, do you want some thick, hot meat? Mmm. And then the people, like, they try to have a connection with you in that short time. You know what I mean, too? Like, you are you got the fake customer voice person, and then that the, the customer is like, well, you know, <laughs> they oh, try I to tr- make a... <laughs> I forgot this. I drove off the other day. I was, uh, I was in, like, a McDonald's, so they had the split drive through and I was sitting there with a person who was clearly new, and uh, didn't know what they were doing. And I'm just watching. Uh, and he just keeps saying, okay, so you ordered this? And I said, no, this. He's like, okay. And then he put up something completely different that wasn't either one of those items on the screen. And then he's like, okay, so I can fix this. And you said that you also wanted chicken nuggets. And I said, no, chicken tenders. 
And he goes, okay. And so, like, a bunch of wrong things come up on the screen, Poor then kid. go away. I No less than four people pass me on the other line. And he's like, okay, just give me one second, and I'll get this all sorted out. Like, he's doing his best, but he clearly doesn't know how the system works. Yeah. But... After after the fifth car goes by me, I just I just pull out. I just pull out of it. I just leave the situation. I was like, I do not have time for this. Yeah, and I mean, I guess. And I don't hate that was the I least assholeish that, way. Yeah, to do I, it. like I don't hate that dude, yeah. but I just I can't I can't wait any longer. Yeah, you man. can't. You, I can't wait any longer. Because, I understand you're new and you're trying your right. best, but a fucking four cars, man, I can't. I came through a drive through because I was low on time. Right. I'm not doing like I didn't want to be a mcdonald's i was hurting for time you know what hit the fucking shit we hate thing Ooh. <laughs> this kind of goes there's going to be like kind of wrapped in two in this so i went to go get my new driver's license the new fancy oh, one yeah. whatever That's such horseshit i hate it listen to how prepared i thought i was brought my passport my birth certificate, my social security card, also brought my current driver's license, and I brought a bill with a, with my address on it. Mm-hmm. It was not the proper bill. I don't understand. I, what type of bill is it supposed to be? It could be. Let's see. She. I could. It could have been a bank statement with my address on it. It could have been um, a utility bill, gas, electric, or it could have been a pay stub. With my address on it. Hmm. But a credit card bill was not good enough. That's... What the fuck? I don't understand. I, d- I have no idea. What it is. says my name, says it has uh, money on it, saying, hey, you owe this much. It's the same that would be a fucking utility bill, but she couldn't accept it. So the process, this new process, that pisses me off. That shit I hate. And then I was thinking because I you had all those forms of idea. Why yeah. why did they yeah. need a yeah they need, oh my god yeah so, so it's basically like so getting good luck a when you do passport it. but like you st- you brought everything you brought yeah. everything that you could conceivably need mm-hmm. yeah oh, fuck and, off. so next time I'm gonna be like real annoying and I'm gonna have like six fucking different bills and be like pick one pick whatever one works. And yeah. if none, nothing works, I'm just going to burn this whole fucking building down. Yeah, that's that's bullshit. Like, it's... I'm assuming that this is to identify illegals. Is that what this is for? I, well, what do you think this is for? The, the process? Maybe. The, the, new, the new driver's the, license. I'm saying, like, different. having to get that new driver's license. No, that is, uh, that is your, um, that's your new passport for domestic. Yeah, but it's it's weird. I don't want it. I don't need it. Yeah, like well, I mean, the if fact you fly, that like you can no longer just fly in inter- like within in, the within, U.S. within the states, you yeah. won't be able to do it without this new ID. Like you have to have like your version of a passport. Yeah. And it's like, what the fuck are you talking about? But it is nice for people that are like, well, fuck it, I don't fly, but I do drive to Canada. That is nice for them because they're like, well, why those just- people already have a fucking passport? I know. None of the, none of this makes any fucking sense. Yeah, I fucking hate it. But another like to add on to that, I wasn't a, like I was. Uh, I just went okay. I'll just do this another day. And she's like, "Well, do you want to do your tags?" I'm like, "No, I'll do that another day too." I was kind of abrupt with her, you know. But I I wasn't like I didn't yell at her or anything. And another shit I hate is when people are like. <laughs> I will always spam the shit out of these buttons. When, um, when, like, if I was going to be, when I started being an asshole, if I would have started being an asshole to her, or like you would have been an asshole to the the driveway. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, when, when, when the person's like, well, these are the, these are the rules, you know, whatever, and you're like, you start insulting her, or you go to the, uh, social security office and you're screaming at, you're, Giving the person a hard time because you lost your fucking social security card. No. How's that your how's that their fault? Yeah. Their day sucks. Their existence sucks. Every day they're dealing with angry people. I know. And so it's I just, do feel for them, but at the same time, it is your job and you have to do it and the whole process. Not mad at the people and mad at the process. Right. They're just echoing what they're being told. Right, but when you insult when you give them a hard time that 
they're just following what the fucking state yeah. or the government told they're them glor- to do. They're glorified parrots. Yeah. They just go, bah, you have to have three forms of ID. Bah, bah, must be a billing statement. Bah. So it's pretty ridiculous. That is fucking ridiculous. But if, you, if you're an asshole that's given someone, that someone goes, I'm sorry, those are the rules, and you just give them, an, give them a hard time, you're a fucking asshole. And I have actually started, like, speaking out when you I You started hear, fucking assholes? Uh, no, I'm not. I'm not a buy power bottom. <laughs> buy power bottom. But uh, if I if I hear someone like being an asshole, I start I start saying stuff. What do you do? You're you're standing up against the assholes. Yeah, I'm just because uh, you know a worker's like, oh, I'm sorry, we're we're out of this item or whatever. And I'm like, oh god, that's kind of fucking annoying. I get it. And then they're like, well, blah blah blah, and they start giving the employee a hard time because they're out of something. And I'm like, Gee, just order something else or fucking go somewhere. Like, I always don't. Like, just order something else. No. Stay out of it. No, you quit being an asshole. Yeah. I agree with you. However, I think it's... I do get mad at the service if they let me order it and then 20, 10, 20 minutes go by and then they no, let that, me know that I'm out ridiculous. of shit. That's ridiculous. I'm like... Mm, no, you should be no. Do you hear what a dick Caleb is to that server? He called him to yell at him for oh not giving him silver. He's he's at home where he has silverware eating, and he called to and, yell and at him. And my thing is is like he's like you do. You're a fast food worker, right? Exactly. And he <laughs> the what the dude tries to head. offer a solution. Can you pull over somewhere and get silverware there? <laughs> Can you get a fork and knife somewhere else? Um, I don't know. Uh. Yeah, Caleb, you're an <clears throat> asshole, man. <clears throat> yeah, but we do miss you. And then, and then he he turns it into a. Well, you, now now that I did it, don't do it, people. I'm telling you not to do it. Yeah, like. Lead by example, Caleb. Yeah, exactly. Stand up. You have stand up. Rise up. Rise up. Be a better person. You can change the world if you just stop being an asshole. No longer will you call. Here, here at the NLA, the No Longer an Asshole Association, the NL, NLAA, No Longer an Asshole Association, we believe that through proper corrective behavior training, we can change the way people interact with each other. Our simple 14-step process, which is basically one step of yelling and 13 steps of beating with a stick, while we remind you not to be an asshole, because being an asshole sucks. You could join our team today and ensure a better future for all of America. Thank you. So, like, you you figured some stuff out where you just, like, I want to play music and... Yeah, inspiration and a soundboard and you're just like fucking all over the place oh, yeah, huh dude. man I don't I don't fuck around I don't fuck around no way you don't fuck around you just get down I just get down 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 that's right we're going back to middle school chance ladies and gentlemen but so um, ladies and gentlemen may have been confused while they're waiting on the uh, the podcast that will identify a certain politician uh that individual um was supposed to show up and then i received a message that they fell asleep on that day and he is dead to the dinner debauchery he li- he listens to every episode so i can't wait like it's been like three he's, episodes he's, he's that dead you've talked to the shit. debauchery yeah um he is dead to us bj uh you are dead to us and if you offer any more excuses, you're going to be dead to everybody else soon, okay? Mm-hmm. I'm not fucking tolerating it. Uh, yeah, so that... <clears throat> sorry about that, ladies and gentlemen. That should have happened already. I was super excited for it. He apparently doesn't care about you, the listener. He's nope. doing his own thing. He also has a got a girlfriend in a very short amount of time. Apparently has a had a girlfriend, like... Not too long after we met him. I'd love to talk to her because, you know, I just got to give her some wor- words of uh, advice. Like, don't get fat. Um, uh, that's pretty much it. Don't dare spill any seltzer oh, water yeah, yeah. near him. He will freak the fuck out. Right. He will freak the fuck out. Mm-hmm. He will go on a temper tantrum. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, and uh, don't expect him to, like, answer you back 
or uh, like stay consistent with plans. Like just a heads up, like this is what you're expecting. Right. And if you gain ten pounds, you're fucking out. He doesn't even give a fuck about you anymore. You're dead to him. And if your brother like tries to fight to him, he'll tell him he's not afraid of him, bro. No, not afraid of this guy, bro. I'm like yeah. I could fucking handle this, no problem. Right. I'm fucking Chad. Mm-hmm. God. He's probably got like salmon colored shorts on right now as we speak. Oh my god, and boat shoes. Yeah. yeah. Oh mm-hmm. motherfucker, even yeah. though it's so cold out. Uh, yeah. Oh yeah. He's he's doing it because he's at the club. He's at the bars. You know. He's bar hopping. Oh god, I want to fight him. I want to fight him in his stupid face. Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> so yeah, that's why that hasn't happened. But um, the competition podcast is still happening we just have to get everybody together because that's one where there's going to require multiple judges and so we're gonna have to gather a lot of guests maybe uh somebody suggested since i'm having a new year's party that we do like a little new year's party podcast someone suggested that yeah um and i told them that i was having a little new year's party and who's in so far so i think it's a good idea i think it'd be a good time and so maybe we'll do that. <clears throat> we'll do the competition podcast then, which again includes uh, us having we... to make a joke off the top of our head and uh, oh. drinking-related uh, competitions. Yeah. Um, I'll have to drink beer that hot, night. Hot spicy wings. It'll be short. Like it'll be like you know we'll do like you know two or three games where like it's. It's more about the skill than the drinking. Right. Because at a certain level, it becomes more about the drinking. Right. Being able yeah. to handle it. Yeah, and chugging or <clears throat> something like that. Yeah, we're just going to do like, you know, flip tac toe. You know what I'm talking about? No. It's flip cup. Except yeah. you have three cups and you got to make tic tac toe. So you just have a tic tac toe and then you put your cup. Oh, so you fl- as soon as you as soon flip as you it over make it successfully, flip, you get to put it somewhere. Okay. Yeah. That's in, no, all right. That's not a bad one. Yeah, that's it. I think it's a good one. We'll do, you know, just one on one beer pong. Knock that out. Um I think I had another tricky Oh, I was going to try and figure figure out a game of one on one boom cup. But, you know, still working on that. Yeah, we got yeah. the details aren't if, Again, if you guys have ideas, feel free to write in. Uh like you always do. Mhm. <laughs> Every time, every time he takes a new breath, he has to bring the mic back because his nose is pushing the mic away as he's doing it. That's that's how I laugh when I make a clever little pun. Sorry, this is my nose getting in the way, people. Oh, Jesus. I heard that. Yeah, but uh, we were fucking around earlier. But I'm actually super excited to check out that fucking Scientology Center. Oh yeah, I <clears throat> I have to know what's in there. And I, call, I just just get pamphlets or something. Yeah, like I are handing something out. You know, sure. and I I called a friend of the show, and uh, I was talking to her <laughs> last night, Nicole, and she was like, "Why I don't get it?" And I was like, "What do you mean you don't get it?" I'm guessing she hasn't seen like the South Park episodes and stuff like that. She's like, like, "Why would you want to go?" And I was like, "How are you not?" I was like, "These people actually believe that the evil Lord Zeno." Dropped people, uh, dropped aliens into the volcano like that. That right there, they're ba- they're believing a science fiction author. The name of this episode is Scientology sucks again. <laughs> That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna challenge them um, to come actually fight me. Yeah, I had to I had to change up just to get her to go with us. I had to change up what it was. I told her it was a Bob Marley thrift shop, and then she was like all into it. Oh, 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 yeah, oh, oh, oh I'll go. Oh, oh. Yeah. Oh my god, I, I love I love knickknacks. Yeah, I love knickknacks and nice things. Oh my god, reggae, which I still like. Uh, their friend, uh, they got a friend who lives in Columbus and uh, who's offered to help teach me how to play guitar. And uh, he's in a reggae band. He's in like four different bands, but uh, he's also in a reggae band. And I was just like, oh man, I just can't do it. And he's like, why? And I was like, all of the songs sound pretty similar to me and it's just not my style of music it's just not my particular thing I, you can like it and that's okay it's okay to like different things you don't have to like everything that I like and I don't have to like everything that you like unless you like something really stupid like country music 
yeah, fuck you. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'll fight anybody that plays country in my fucking phone. Yeah, it's bad. I will, I will, I will physically and sexually assault you. Okay, man or woman, I will. Are you bi? Yeah, I'm a power bottom bi. Remember, power bottom bi. That's gonna be the name of the episode. You think power so? Power bottom bi. Yeah, I like it. Yeah, I'm in. It, it rolls right off the tongue too. Power bottom bi. The power bottom bisexual. I like it. We always we always end up with some type of name. I love it. So, uh, in our last little bit of time here before you leave, uh, I do want to say that uh, it's good to have you back. I'm happy to have you back, and but Caleb is still the new co-host. Like, you're you're gonna be doing guest segments, but. I, mean, I know, but the, the thing is, is like, it's my, like, my name's on Den of Debauchery somewhere, mm. somehow, so it doesn't matter. He's not going to get any of the sponsorship money from that homemade pizza. Yeah. He's not going to get any. Super... So he's going to be doing this for free, and I'm just going to be, like, reaping the benefits, like I'm a producer or something. Yeah. I don't know. Go to ho-madepizza.com use promo code DEN for 20% off your first order and a free uh, hand job I mean garlic knots free gar- free garlic knots do they have uh, do they, like can you make a preference of the hoe that comes in like brunette blonde or do you just yeah, like get a, a random yeah that's all hoe? when you fill out the online form which you can do at ho-madepizza.com uh, backslash Den of Debauchery um, the the crazy can, thing is, is I, I'm I'm pretty sure that the one person that would use that is, is that bartender that we oh, had last yeah. night. Oh yeah, and I bet she would. No, she doesn't need that. She doesn't need hose. <laughs> She's got hose. She's over, got hose already, over making, already pizza. making her pizza. Make, making pizza rolls. That bitch, that bitch has a stable of bitches. All right, she has she has people on lockdown. Like she she names her women by the day of the week that they come over to fuck. She's like, that's Tuesday. This is Thursday. Thursday, you can't come on Wednesday. What the fuck are you doing? You know, Wednesday is going to get mad if you see this shit. You need to slow your roll. Know your place Thursday before you get replaced, all right? She doesn't allow any of that shit to happen, all right? She keeps her bitches in line. I was about to say, keeps her bitches in line. She keeps her bitches in line. Yeah. She keeps a strong, strong pimp hand. I'm I'm kind of ju- uh we were talking about this with your uh I can't remember if we talked about this before or not but I think we have <clears throat> I was talking about it with your your aunts who are fans of the show well one of them is for sure Missy loves it and she loves the shout outs too yeah and she well she's she texted me after one and she was like I kind of got a shout like I mentioned her but I didn't mention her by yeah. name so Missy yeah Missy we're giving you a shout out how it's an interesting thing of like domestic violence is different in a same sex relationship because it's socially acceptable for women to hit women and socially acceptable for men to hit men. So I'm just wondering what is the level of domestic violence in a gay relationship? Well, I, th- I think we talked about this earlier. Well, my question is, is like, is it domestic violence or is it just a cat fight? <laughs> is it just a cat fight? It's like, I wouldn't, I would think that it's, slightly higher like imagine like two like butch lesbians like just throwing fucking bows and like yeah but do you ever really get that there's always like going to be one one that's butchier than one that's like kind of I've, I've seen uh couples that like they're basically like the two people look exactly alike in a oh. weird way it's kind of weird yeah, why would you want to date isn't yourself? That, isn't that narcissistic? Yeah. Like, you're dating somebody that looks exactly like you? Right. That's why I think all gay people are narcissists. <laughs> you heard it here, folks. <laughs> oh, really? Your gender's so fucking attractive, you gotta date one? Date one of your own? Oh, my God. Like, I mean, I... You know it, how ethnocentric that is? To say, like, no, I'm not even gonna date outside my gender. If you're dating a person of the same race and gender as you, you are an ethnocentric nationalist and quite possibly a Nazi. I mean, be on, i got to be honest. I think you should pick up Caleb's book. <laughs> you always <clears> say, <throat> I'm, I'm done making I know those it. jokes. I know it. I can't help It's so funny because he's so nice and so not that guy. Yeah. That's, that's what makes it funny. 
I don't it's like. A, it's yeah. like basically like. Can I bring up something I don't like about Caleb? What he keeps he he calls you guy. Okay. Hey, oh, hey that's guy. that's a uh, that's straight up his wife's influence. Ugh. His or his fiance's influence. Like she calls him guy twenty four seven. Hey guy, you forgot to shut the door or that, or. Like okay, whatever guy. Like that. That's or so now. Now he does it. Oh okay. They're like melding into one person. It's really disgusting. Well, if Emma is, she listen to this? Oh yeah. Well, Emma, knock it off. Yeah. All right. Act right for you get smacked right. Call him. Stuff. Call him sugar tits. Or, yeah. Or, or or can candy asshole or you know. What that candy asshole? Plum I think. plum nuts. Call him plum nuts. Plum nuts. Call him plum. Or plump nuts. <clears throat> no, I haven't seen. I haven't, I haven't seen his balls. I don't know how big they are. You said? Didn't you say you saw? His I've dick, seen it. I've seen his dick. He was peeing. His balls oh. weren't out. Oh, I didn't know if you guys like <coughs> were on a team together or something. Showered. <clears throat> mm, no, well, like when I was doing that, like I was in high school, I was like very uncomfortable. Eyes with, like, forward. Being super. Yeah. Yeah. So like I would when I was going in the shower it was eyes forward march wash get the fuck back out. Yeah. Like I didn't like hide I wouldn't like you know shy and meek but I definitely was there was a goal you get in you get out you get away from the naked people while you're naked. So that was not how we acted but um... <laughs> it was very different in college. You remember we used to take each other's towels in college all the time while you would be in the community showers and each floor had a, a, like, you know, like, what, four or five showers. And uh, you'd be showering, and I'd come and take your towel. And then you were walking back to your room in a towel because the whole floor was uh, for guys. Right, yeah. So, like, you know, you'd, you'd walk down in your towel and come back in your towel. And you just, <laughs> I, it's the hardest I've ever laughed because all you did was put your cup, your hand over your junk and then just walk with your shower caddy confidently. And it's like, I would say, like 150 feet. It was, from, like, yeah, it was a good at distance. At the end of the hall. From it, was at, it was at least 30 seconds of walking. And you didn't speed up at all. You just did a well, confident strut can't. with your dick. <laughs> no, this was before you oh, were affected okay. by the disease. Oh, that's because I was fat and plump. That's why I was Yeah, like, you, were just, you were just walking with like your dick in your hand, like covering it up slightly. And swinging your shower caddy like you're a little kid skipping like, his way to school. Like I'm a worker going to, <laughs> you know. Oh, I can't, I can't wait to lay that those metal beams, those right. eye beams for that skyscraper today. <laughs> and I, I laughed so goddamn hard because the last thing I expected, I expected you to like come out and then like look around and then like sprint and you just. Like, you didn't even poke your head out of the bathroom. You just came strolling out like, well, people are going to see what they're going to see. Well, Fuck the, it. Well, they're going to see my ass, which <laughs> at the time was a, was a strong suit of mine. Uh, but, uh, I mean, the, the saddest part of that story was the fact that I could cover everything with my <laughs> hand. hand. Just one hand, I can cup entire dick and nuts. And it's like, ah. Oh, yeah. That's yeah. that's and you just got out of a hot shower too, so you can't even use the excuse of like the cold air. Well, was, yeah. Once you uh, once you're out of it, the cold air hit me. You know. No, no, buddy. Yeah. There's still leftover hang left from that Left hot shower. <laughs> leftover hang. Leftover hang. Ooh, that would be a good name for the episode too. Now I have to. Now I have choices to make. There's a res, there's a residual hang. <clears throat> <coughs> oh my god, dying again. Well, at this point, you're just disappointing everyone by not doing so. By not actually dying. Yeah. Yeah, I know. I gotta commit. I, how would you do it if you had to commit suicide? If I had to commit suicide? Yeah, like you, like you, and make it someone else's problem. You'd, you'd inconvenience. <laughs> <laughs> you'd be. <laughs> I love that answer. That is that is so fucking you <laughs> that you would be like. Oh, I'd make somebody else have to do some work after like. Yeah, okay. Like, All right. So, how would you inconvenience somebody? Well, I mean, and who would you inconvenience? A stranger. A stranger. Yeah. There's nobody like, specific that you would try to. I've always said that when I died, like I want my ashes thrown in the face of the people that wronged me. Right. No. Like. Okay. So I'm not gonna hang myself. First of all, don't know how to tie a noose. Second of all, I can, <laughs> I, can, I can barely climb a fucking ladder. That's the, that's the first step. Is like I can't tie a noose. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Step one. I'm already screwed. Uh, 
Let's go. Uh, we got uh, gun. I, I don't even know how to work a gun. I couldn't even fill a clip and then put the clip in and, and kill myself. And I don't think I could. Like, I don't commit to things, so I wouldn't, uh, yeah, I, I wouldn't be able to commit to it. You'd need to do something that, like, you couldn't back out of, like jumping out of a plane or jumping off of a tall building, putting yourself in a situation that you can't sure. change your mind. Yeah. Okay. Because you're a pussy. Okay. And how would you make it inconvenient? Are you splattering somewhere? Yeah. Yeah, like someone's hitting me is what I'm saying. Like I'm, I'm probably going to be taken out by, I don't know, a train or something. Knowing mm -hmm. me, I'd like sit in the car and it would be one of those trains that are like, and all it does is like just push me down the fucking rail. It doesn't even. <laughs> it's got the kill me. It's got that old school like train. Like whenever you draw a train and you draw that thing on the front. Yeah. That little rail and it just lifts you up over that and you're like, God damn it. Nothing. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'd have to choose it. It's definitely going to be inconvenient for someone else because they're they're now going to have to like know that they killed someone that day. Is she going to make them do the actual killing? I mm -hmm. like it. I like it. So you just like walk in front of a bus. Right. Or, or like act like you didn't, like you'd go on skydiving and then you act like you tripped. Like, no, 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 oh God, no. And like, ha, ha, ha. Well, my thing, like if you go in front of like a bus or something, it's going to have to be like a highway and then you're going to have to like lean into it. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I mean, if you let the, like the wheel hit your head and they're doing like, because they'll they'll get up to like 40 45 if you can if you can get your head under the wheel you're done well yeah i'm just i, I just you got to make sure that you do it properly because god's got a real sense of humor and he'd be like well you're living through this so oh my good god job. oh vegetable derek yeah oh. which then again would also be someone's problem yes see that's how you should live the rest of your life no this is okay i've got As an it. Invalid. this is how i commit suicide right i I find as a I find a way. Now this is gonna be tricky, but I find a way to put myself into a coma. I'll help. Little did they know that I put a clause in me in in, in my will or whatever uh, that if I'm a vegetable for three days, pull the plug. So now it's someone else. It's a loved one's oh, problem. And, and you you put in your it's called a living will. You put yeah. in your living will that says. If I am uh, in this situation, in a vegetative state, I want so and so. You have to pick the person yeah. oh, that you yeah. want to make pull the plug. Who are you making? Well, I would pull do. The plug? I would do like three people. That way, they can argue it out. Yeah, no, I was like, I want to ruin more people's lives. Who? What three? Oh, come on. That's a good question. Yeah, my pick, two brothers your, for sure. Okay. Uh. I really hope you don't say your wife. No, I. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She would. Oh my god, she would fucking. But the thing is, is I think when. Even if in, even if I put that in a will, wouldn't she have still, she'd have priority over it? No. Um, if you, like, if you have, like, you're dying, we, I, I don't know, legally. I, I'd put answer, you. But I'm thinking. I'd put you. Oh, God, I would not hesitate. I would, oh, like, they would be, like, arguing, and then I would, like, shove them out of the way so, and yank that cord. No, what would happen? And then start hitting you in the head with the machine. And I was like, this is, this is how he wants to go out. Oh, yeah. This is what happened. Ten though. years of rage, motherfucker. They're arguing, right? And you, but in the whole, in the background, the whole time they're arguing, you hear beep, beep, beep. And they're just like, no, I'm not going to do it. And then all of a sudden, beep. And you're just standing there with the cord. Took care of it, guys. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. And then I just like, set. and then I just like toss the cord at them, and like hits them in the chest, and they're just like, he's and gone. You, and you walk out with the peace sign over your shoulder. Suck it, bitches. <laughs> See now, if I'm if I'm going to commit suicide, I'm doing it in like the most grandiose and like cool way imaginable. Like I'm going to like, you know, like skydiving, or. Um, yeah. No. But yeah, um I'm I think I'm gonna go with like dressing up like a superhero and like oh. announcing like announcing that I'm doing this large stunt and like getting everybody like involved and be like for, okay for, ch for children that way they're yeah, watching. Exactly. Like I'm doing this large stunt to raise money for blah blah blah. And then like a fake organization, like the like the STC and 
NLAA, No Longer an Asshole Association. Caleb, you need to be a part of this. STC, yeah, fucking asshole. And uh, that's what that's what I do now. Whenever whoever is here, I talk shit about the other one. <laughs> well, they're not here, and then that person comes back. I'll talk shit about the person that's not here. I love it. But anyway, I'm going to get everybody involved. So like everyone is watching. It's going to be a live event, and then. I am just going to, like, let's say, like, I'm walking between skyscrapers. And then I'm just going to take off on a dead sprint, like, on that high, on that tightrope. And I'll make it, like, f- like maybe three steps before I fall. And then just, like, immediately. So I want it to be, like, everybody's excited. And I just go. <laughs> and just leave a splatter paint. Or, you know. That's that's number one, but I feel like in my heart of hearts, I really, 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 really want to do, take out an act of vengeance with my suicide. Like, I want to ruin somebody else's life, not just their day, not just inconvenience them, and I wouldn't do it to a stranger. Hmm. I would, somebody that has wronged me, I would, like, walk up and shoot myself in the head in a way that, like, the splatter went on their face. Like you see in the movies. Like, that's what I want. I want that. <gasps> I want that reaction of like, oh, my God, the blood on my face. I can't believe this. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. You're wearing gloves, and you just walk up to them and be like, hey, and you go to shake their hand, but instead of, but in your hand, you have the you have the gun. So they, just, they, they touch the gun, and as soon as you they touch it, you kill yourself, but you've had gloves on. Oh, yeah. They're like, oh, wow. Oh yeah, that'd be a great way frame frame a piece of shit for yeah. your murder. Yeah. Oh, that's such a good idea. I love that. Oh my god, I might actually kill myself. This, this is, is so much a good I, idea. I feel like this is pretty dark. This is a sense of relief, but actually. I like it. And I, me personally, I think that if you have a good enough reason, and there, you know, you have it set up, that it should be okay to kill yourself. And we here support the idea that. Killing yourself is okay. Sometimes it doesn't get better. You shouldn't try to seek help. You should just take all the people that have made you this depressed and kill them and then yourself. Because, and why wait? Don't wait another day. Kill yourself now. Kill your enemies now. That's the message that we like to send out here at the Den of Debauchery. We want to thank you all for listening, and have a pleasant, pleasant, murder and suicide filled week. Thank you.